So delete this cube and turn on snap mode, rotation scale, absolute grid snap, and then do shift A and just add an armature and just create a simple little, um, just create a simple robot arm like this. So I make four bones and then select this hand bone and hold shift, select the center bone, do alt P, clear parents, select the center bone, shift, select upper bone and do control P this time and keep offset. Select the hand, go to pose mode, make sure the hand's still selected, hold shift, select the center bone and do control shift, control shift C at the same time. Well, not at the same time, do control first, then shift and then C. Then you should get this menu and do inverse kinematics right here. It even shows right here, control shift C. And it talks about what this thing does, but just add it. And now if you do shift spacebar G, you selected the move tool by using a shortcut. But now if you move the bone, it's also going to move everything else, which is called inverse kinematics. Take this bone, drag it down and go back onto object mode, do shift A and just get simple meshes. Nothing too crazy, just a simple mesh, simple mesh this one, simple mesh for this one and then a mesh for this one. So each bone should have a mesh. So now select your mesh, do shift, select armature, go to pose mode, select bone and do control P and do bone and do it for everything else. So like this, so I'm gonna select this mesh again, select the upper center bone by holding shift select, go to pose mode, select the upper center bone, bone and do control P, bone. And again, like this, like this, we'll have a shortcut the pie menu so I can press tab and instantly go in pose mode so it's quicker for me. So select this, control P, bone, back to object mode, select this, this, pose mode, this, control P, like that. And now if you move this bone, everything else should move. If you want to right now, you can edit your arm, but I'm just going to skip that part and you should already see the complete part. And then we can move on to adding the wire. Okay, so I've done my robot arm. That's what it looks like. Obviously this part's going to crash, but I can fix this later, but the best thing to do right now is to create an animation to make an animation. So select your armature. I'm going to go to pose mode, select this hand and then press I location rotation, move your keyframe to whatever you want to to 20 and then move this up and you can see how there's a crash. So I have to fix this by making a bevel. As I move my keyframe, I want to do I again, location rotation, take this first frame after the second frame, I want to paste it into 40 or 50, depending on how fast or how slow I want the animation to go. So 40 is nice. And then for the end, put it to 40 as well. So if I press play, it's going to be a cycle. There's a small crash right here. So the best thing I can do is take this one and go on to edit mode, press two to select edges, select this edge and press control B to bevel this one out. So it doesn't crash. Nice. But if I hide everything, including the bones, it doesn't make sense. The thing is just floating. There has to be some system that's holding this bottom bone. And the system I'm going to be making is the joint, the wire joint. Stick to a frame and don't move away from it. If you do, just remember the number or write it down. So if you do mess up, just return back to this number. So my number is 30. I'm sticking to 30. So what I'm going to do is shift A, curve, I'm going to add a bezier. So that's the wire. Just rotate it to 90 degrees. So if you did it wrong like I did, so I have 85. You can just change it on this menu to 90. So now move it out. Just move it closer to the part where the joint is, the actual armature joint, and scale it to make it fit. And if the bone is in the way, you can go onto overview. You can go onto overlays and take off bones so you can see better. Select this wire and go on to data and do geometry. Scroll down and do depth and put up depth to make it a little larger. Something like this. It's good. Go to edit mode. When you go onto edit mode, you'll see two little black dots. Select one of them and do control H hook to new object. And again, for this one, control H hook to new object. And if you go back to object mode, you can select these hooks and rotate them something like this. So it kind of fits the shape of the arm. Select the upper empty, hold shift, select the upper bone, mesh, and then do control P, parents to object. Select the bottom empty, hold shift, select the, select the bottom mesh, and then do control P, object. So if you press space, now you should see it's attached but there is a gap which you can fix right now. Zoom in closer to the empty and just move it a little closer to your mesh like this. And you can see how there's a bendy point. You can click on it and then you can, if you do, and then if you go in data again, resolution preview, and if you put it up, the bendy part should go away and make it look smoother. And also you can do the same thing if you're doing robots or you're creating small characters or you're creating doors and all kinds of things.